Uh, this is really a special thing that we get to do right now, marking a very exciting milestone of such significance uh, and everlasting impact, by the way. Our very own Christine Devine celebrating 30 years of covering the news right here at Fox 11. It is rare, it is special to have somebody that has that sort of longevity in this fickle, strange business. Mm -hmm. We want to take the time to recognize and honor her. Um, have a little throwback Thursday clip for you 25 years ago. Check this out. This is the construction site, a tiny pocket in Watts. By the time the 2,000 volunteers arrive, the foundation is laid, the plumbing in place, and much of the lumber ready to go. Because tomorrow, an army of volunteers will begin to change the face of Watts forever. And here she is <laughs> in the studio. You were We're noticing the acid wash the jeans. jeans. <laughs> and when I post a picture, I'm going to comment some about the jeans. The jeans, the jeans. Yeah. Looking back at that clip, what does it feel like? What, it, what, what comes to mind when you think of that? Well, the neat thing is we went back to that Watts neighborhood and found nine 90% of the families that bought into that Habitat for Humanity project yeah are still there. How about that? And one 15 year old, he's now 40 years old. And it was so cool to see him. He's now a homeowner himself and working in affordable housing. So success stories came out of that project. See, here's the thing, people, people love to say, well, you're just, you know, you're giving a hand up. No, you're giving a hand up. It's mm -hmm. a, not a hand out. Mm -hmm. So 30 years, does it feel like it? I, I think, you know, we're all doing something for 30 years. Yeah. I just happen to be with the same company for yeah. 30 years. Yeah. Uh, I say, where does the time go? It, it, when you're though? having fun. Yeah, but I think back to like just the look back stories. Mm -hmm. Like we just did, won the World Series, yep, right? Yep, yep. I worked with Dave Roberts when he was a player on the Dodgers. <laughs> I'm really dating myself, I right? know. Well, and now that, you know, most of the players on the team are young enough to be our children, yes, uh, it's always kind of humbling. Um, I know for you, one of the, the great privileges of this job is that you're able to shine a light on things that matter to us. And mm -hmm. one of the things that matter to both you and I foster are our foster youth. Yeah. How did that all come to be for you? Because I don't know if people always know. We know about Wednesday's mm -hmm. Child, right, and all the lives you've changed. Mm -hmm. But what was it that spoke to you so significantly about that car? Yeah. Our stories, you and I, are a little bit different. My yeah. parents were foster and adoptive parents. So I was that uh, child who had incoming people who <laughs> were new and strange. And my parents took in five kids from Vietnam, refugee children. How old were you at the time? The, I was more in college during those days, but my adopted brother, I was 10 and he was eight. And here's this boy with his own traumas and drama and, yeah. and this new person sitting at the table looking at us like, why This is I your here? brother now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I knew the story of the kids and the pain and the suffering and the, how scary it must be to come to a strange family and say, ta-da, your new family. Yeah. Aren't you excited? Yeah. So I knew their story, but Wednesday's Child was an assignment. And I kind of didn't want to do it at first because really? we'd been through some bumps. Sure. We'd been through some bumps. Brain pains. Yes. And I, I, I got healing through covering the story. You I'm did? seeing the kids right there. Some of them, are, they're all grown up now. Yes. So it was very healing for what me. Was, what was healing about it? Um, just kind of living through my childhood yeah. through these children. Yeah. And I got to see them just as beautiful human beings who wanted a career and a home and food on the table. And a future. And love, yes, yes. That's the thing that I think unites you and I a lot is that we, we realize that every one of us has a story. I think it's what keeps yeah. us both in the business. Yeah. And also, you know, um, every child deserves a chance. I mean, that's the work that I do outside of here is really about making sure kids have that chance. Um, another part of it, you, I mean, you have been a beacon for so many of us that have come up in the business. Mm. Uh, <laughs> you and I are peer aged, yeah. but there, I know that we're both part of the the National Association of Black Journalists, and um, you do a lot of work to ne let the next generation know that, yeah. you know, we're going in the right direction, we still have a lot of work to do, but reflect on, on that, the diversity that we see in in our business now right. is, is vastly different than it was 30 years ago. Well, being multiracial, I'm NABJ, NAHJ, um, I remember b wanting to be in the business in my town of Phoenix, Arizona, and saw maybe a station would have one person that looked like me. One person. Just the one. Yes, and I actually tried to get into my hometown market and I couldn't get in the door. And so when LA called, I kind of said, all right, God, your way, not my way. Okay. Uh, How Mears. many times have we said that? John Mears. Oh, can we just talk about <laughs> those shoulder pads? Oh my Let's, gosh, can the shoulder we, pads. Can we walk through yes. the, 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 the hair, hair and, and the wardrobe of oh Christine Devine? Did, did you have the people tell you, you got to do this, you got to do that coming up, straighten your hair, cut your hair, wear this color, wear that? How did you, how did you navigate that? Um, if you see some of my outfits, you can tell that I could have used a little more guidance. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, but that shoulder pad look, that was a look oh, then. We all had it, right? My yeah. first job interview, I had a red, I called yeah. it my Oprah power right. suit, yeah. 100%. Yeah. Um, are there still mountains you want to climb? I know there are. In terms of <sighs> career mountains? I, I, here's the thing. I'm reminded during these times of how important it is to tell the stories we're telling yeah. with COVID and policing and justice. I mean, I was with someone just yesterday who reminded me that uh, she's out of work and might lose her home. And I thought then, you know what, we have got to tell important stories right now. A year ago, I was doing a lot of my fashion projects with my yeah, kids fun. and entertainment and fun. These are really serious times. Yeah. It's changed everything, mm -hmm. and it's changed all of us, too, and what we expect even out of uh, our news anchors. Um, you're such a trusted voice. We're so grateful for you. Congratulations. We're not going to talk about the necklace you gave me. Oh, you're wearing it. I'm wearing, I'm wearing it. Look at that. Just thank a little thank you. you for all you've done yes, for all Yes, and, and you gave me something. <gasps> I have something for you and the you team here. I support those who support youth in foster care. This is one of our donors, Melina's Candles. And oh, my goodness. You thank you. Yeah, she well, always gives back be... to the kids in foster care. Well, as we take yeah. a break, we're going to take a look at what's inside. Okay. okay. Can't wait. Thank you. We'll be right back. Let me see what's inside here. Okay. Oh, oh this is for you. Oh, aren't you sweet? Yes. And then I have something. Oh, beautiful. Oh, I love the two.